Hello and welcome to this quick video about how I am powering my peanut from the balance tap of a LiPo battery. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I looked at this new camera from Runcam. This is the new Peanut Pro, and I had a great question from a chap called Magic BFPV that was asking, how would you power that if there isn't a five volt supply to plug it into? Now, if you're using one of the larger flight controllers that has lots of spare outputs and a spare half an amp to power the camera as well, then it's pretty straightforward. You just plug it into any spare servo output. However, on a quad, like I'm going to put it on for the testing that I'm doing at the moment, I need to power it separately. So as I was about to make the adapter, I thought, Magic B, let me show you exactly how I've done it. There are a couple of things that you're going to need in order to make this work. I'm going to put the links down below. First thing is this thing here. This is a micro BEC 6S. Uh, so this will put out five or nine volts, which is exactly what we want. We want a five volts and it will run up to 6S. So you can run it on nice chunky 6S LiPo batteries as well. Now I use mostly 4S here. In fact, I've made something similar to this in the past. This is the GPS uh, starter. So if I'm going to the field and it's an iNav ship and it has a GPS and I haven't done it for ages, then I will plug the GPS into this adapter and let it soak for five, six minutes while we're chatting and having our coffee. And then when I come to actually power the iNav or Arduino plane thing up for the first time for real, it's all going to work. And the board I'm using in that, that you can see through the clear plastic, the clear heat shrink, is exactly the same as this one. As well as one of these boards, you're going to need a little balance tap. Again, I'll put this link down below. This is a 4S one because I use the majority of 4S on the kind of uh, planes that I use. This is the one I'm probably going to use the most. Now, this is available from loads of different places, Amazon, eBay, your local radio control shop. Again, I'll put a link down below to a seller on eBay. Not necessarily to use that one, but just so you know what you're looking for to order it. The only other thing that I've done then is you are going to need a little bit of cable, a bit of heat shrink and a blob of hot glue and you can put this all together. First thing I do is to connect the balance tap to a battery just to check that which way is round for the positive and negative for the two outside leads. I did a video all about powering things from the balance tap. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and have a look at that in a lot more detail. But I tend to use a black Sharpie pen just to mark the side that's black, so to make sure that I don't cable up anything wrong. Once I'd done that, then I connected two little wires to those outside pins, respecting polarity, so ground went to the side that was had the marker on it, and the other outside pin was going to be the positive voltage. Then I tin the connectors on the little Matex Sys BEC, and if you don't do anything to it, it's by default going to output 5 volts. Now I soldered those two wires on to the ground and 5 volts out connections. That is where I'm going to crimp the connector at the other end. Then I hot glued it onto place on top of the balance tap, and then made off those two cables that I'd already soldered onto the outside pins, onto the ground and the voltage input. Then blob of glue on the back and a little bit of uh, a cable relief, just so if I accidentally pull the cable, it isn't gonna pull it off and then covered the whole thing in some heat shrink. The other end was then a standard crimping job. Again, I'll link you to my video on how I do all the crimping. And you need these bits. These are DuPont servo style connectors. I'll pop a link down below to one of the kits from places like Banggood that I tend to buy that come with all these different parts in. And I crimp those onto the end and then slid them into the connector. And that is how we have ended up here. The only extra thing that I've done is I have double checked with a voltmeter that it's outputting exactly five volts, which it is, which means I can plug the Peanut Pro in and away it goes. And now I can plug this balance tap into a 4S battery on the quad that I'm testing with, and then just wrap up the spare cable and just pop it under the battery strap with everything else. It also means that this could also be used in the fixed wings and all the other models that I've got because I've made it long enough to be able to do that. So hopefully, Magic B, that shows you how to do it. And with the links below, hopefully you'll be able to get the parts you need too. 
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.